When the 3,000 guards entered the chamber, they found a demon's head lying on the floor and Cody rushing towards them, sword in hand boldly carving his path to Valhalla. Hello guys and welcome. This is Unholy Carrot or Don't Eat That Carrot and I'm doing, as the title of the video said, a competitive guide to Koji. Koji is top my most played legend, but it's the legend I've came the furthest with in 1v1 ranked and my most solid pick for tournaments. My recent success in 1v1 ranked made me comfortable to make this video for people that want to get out of gold slash platinum. I'm not saying after my video will be diamond, but I'm basically handing out some tips and tricks as well as things to keep in mind while playing that will hopefully help you. What I will be going through in this video is for starters signatures and how to use them effectively, gameplay and a little bit about edge guarding. Koji's bow neutral signature is a heavy hitting lethal upwards going arrow that pierces the enemy and launches him upwards. The hitbox is straight up in a small line. Koji's bow neutral signature is perhaps the one I use the least out of his kit but can be useful in a variety of situations, for example punishing a dodge. Or trying to gimp someone upwards by doing neutral light into gravity cancel neutral signature. This is however a risky move and will not always end up successful. Or the most common way I use it, chase dodge into neutral signature. It can also be used in a small string, but I don't recommend using it if you're plant or higher since it's not a true combo. It works from white to red, but if they are above yellow you can start it with Psylite. Also keep in mind that you need to hit your enemy in the right angle to make it hit. Cody's downsick is probably the one I use the most, just cause it's very low cast time and hard to punish since you can basically jump or dodge right after. It has quite a big coverage as well, which I don't really make use of in my playstyle, but still, keep that in mind. Downsick is very good at punishing mistakes and to pick someone up after a dodge. Or you can use it to chase dodge behind your opponent and releasing the downsick. The side sig on Cody's bow is hands down the funniest signature in my opinion. The side sig has the same hitbox as the neutral sig but sideways and it consists of a forward roll depending on the direction you are facing. Here is the reason why this sig is so funny, I've hit this combo countless times and I rarely get punished for it. When it comes to edge guarding though, there is way better options, but I'll get into that later. As far as the side sig goes, I don't use it much other than rolling off the edge with it. Sometimes I do this short combo just for the extra damage. When your opponent is in dark yellow, you need to sidelight forward dodge side sig instead because yeah, otherwise, otherwise it won't reach. I personally don't use sword signature much at all on Koji, but I'll quickly cover them. Koji's sword neutral signature is probably the signature I use the most when playing sword on Koji, simply because it's a good signature to use when trying to read your opponent. Koji's Ensig is a 3 part hit signature move that hits the target above Koji's head a little bit to the side and launches the enemy right or left upwards. However, to hit an enemy on the ground you need to stand beside him. Cody's sword side sig is a good signature to use as a surprise move and I usually use it by quickly chase dodging forward and releasing it in my opponent's back. Or by falling off the edge with it. Cody's side sig is a two part move that sends your opponent flying sideways and makes Koji walk the distance of about two legends forward in whatever direction you're facing. To be honest, there's not much to say about the down sig. I never use it, maybe sometimes to recover to the stage in a flashy way, basically. But yeah, the down sig launches Koji forward a great distance and make him hit the target on impact. You can see how far he will travel on this little glittery thing right here. Gameplay.
When it comes to gameplay with the bow on Koji, I heavily rely on aerial attacks into ground play. For example, something like a Sar into a Neutralite. My main objective when playing bow is basically just to keep hitting aerial attacks and smack my opponent around some until he's in kill percent. Then I try to end it with a cheeky signature hit. A tip on bow is to use your side there a lot since it's a great spacing tool and can lead into minor strings. Also, if you're having a hard time killing off your enemy and he's been in red for a while, neutral air can kill on deep red. Something else you can do which does decent damage and can lead to longer strings is the combination of neutral light into Sarah. Gameplay So the most common sword string I use for building up damage is this one. Simply dare into recovery and you can spice it up with gravity cancel and neutral light that usually works but it's not true so keep that in mind. Something else that is good to do on sword is to do your side air a lot just as you should do on bow because it's such a good spacing tool. There are also a few downlight combos you can do for building up damage or to kill your opponent. My most common one. I would always suggest that you go for dare after hitting downlight because that way you have more follow up options. Although if you got your opponent in kill percent and in a favorable position, Sarah can be the better option. So here is diamond rank game, as you can see I try to fish for a hit with dare slash sir. The reason why I'm doing this is number one, I know I outrange my opponent with my aerial attacks and number two because if I can get one hit in I can usually hit another one right after as a follow up and that's my main objective to get my opponent into kill percent. As you can see dare into recovery on sword is a really useful string, I used it about three times on my opponent and it helped me out a lot damage wise. After sharing hits for a while, my opponent did a fatal mistake, leading to me getting the first kill of our game. Edge guarding. So, if you've seen my content, you should know by now that my favorite thing to do in this game is edge guarding slash gimping. By the way, gimping is basically just suffocating your opponent, smashing him every time he tries to jump, not allowing him to touch the stage. Edge guarding is in my opinion a very important tool to Koji because of the fact that he's equipped with a bow and sword. Sword is however a better weapon to gimp with in my opinion. So how does one edge guard? Well with the bow it's kinda simple. When your opponent fly out on either side, instead of just waiting for him on the stage, follow him and try and smack him with Ser or Dare. It's that simple. Oh, Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I really hope I provided you with any good information. Uh, I haven't posted anything recently except my channel trailer, sorry for that. Uh, this video made me busy for a while. Uh, anyways, if I helped you, please consider to share slash subscribe. See you later guys.